In this video, I will explain the difference between recovery time objective and recovery point objective in a simplified manner. Both of these objectives are important to know for disaster recovery and business continuity plans. If you find this video helpful, make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. With that being said, let's get right into the video. A recovery time objective is the maximum amount of time it should take to restore a computer, network, or application after an unexpected disaster. An RTO focuses on the procedures that occur after the failure, not before. For example, if your organization's RTO is one hour, then you should be able to get up and running to normal procedures within an hour time frame. A recovery point objective is the maximum amount of time an organization can tolerate after a disaster has occurred. The amount of time is measured by data. This time frame is between the last known good backup solution and the event that caused a failure. Within this time frame, organizations need to figure out what backup solution is the closest one to when the failure occurred. This can minimize the amount of data loss depending on the intervals of the backups. So when your RPO is equal to one hour of loss, it means your backups should be in one hour intervals because the company can tolerate one hour of data loss. If this helped your understanding, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more easy to understand explanations.